We are at the Cannes Yachting Festival, Europe's leading in-water boat show. The festival celebrates its 40th anniversary this year, with over 600 super yachts, sailboats, and multi-hulls exhibited in the city's two ports. But today, we're mainly interested in foils. Foils are those small carbon wings beneath the hull which enable the boat to rise above the water and gain considerable speed. Over recent years, manufacturers have been competing to release the next standout technology. Sea Air is one of those companies. Last July, the startup shook the nautical scene with the world's first rigid inflatable with foils. This opens the path to foils for all. Until now, the broader public was not ready to accept this technology. But this is a new generation, thanks to carbon and digital simulation. The cost of electronics and inertial controls has dropped substantially. The rigid inflatable niche is pretty good because it's not too complex. It's every man's boat and easy to operate. Where does this new interest in foils come from? The main selling point is comfort, no doubt about it. This boat is designed to go 32 knots. We've already reached 42 knots. The foils use a small inertial system with intelligent elements that automatically adjust the angle of the foils. While the nautical world has been hand-making carbon foils for some time, Sierra is experimenting with a new fabrication method. This prototype was manufactured in our workshop by people who laid down layer after layer of carbon. There are about 100 impregnated fabric layers. We've just completed the first all-carbon foils built using a robot, as in the aeronautical industry. Sea trials are scheduled for next month. But Sears' innovations go beyond robotic manufacturing. Its rigid inflatable can be used with or without foils. You push the button and the foil folds up flush against the pontoon. At the beginning of the project, I insisted that we shouldn't negatively affect any of the features that make rigid inflatable so popular. In other words, the foils shouldn't prevent beaching, trailering, or simple operation, or occupy too much passenger space. So, will we start seeing a foil option whenever we purchase a boat? Today, you can buy a car with a self-parking option or a boat with a fishing package. Tomorrow, you can have a boat with an airborne option. The idea is to work with manufacturers at project inception so that in 2019 or 2020, when these boats hit the market, there'll be an airborne option. This will allow large-scale production. To be continued, in the meantime, Sea Air is working on a new project, a 40-foot multi-hull with foils.